What's up everybody, this is Reverend Guns, and today we are going to be taking the rear sight off of this Canik TP9 SF Elite and installing a see-all sight with the outer impact red dot adapter. So before you start anything, you want to make sure it's safe and clear. So right behind the trigger here, there is a button. When you press it, it causes the magazine to pop out. We'll set that aside. Then, when you pull the slide all the way back, this lever will push upward and lock it into place. So go ahead and do that. Now, we can look down inside the barrel here and see there is nothing in there. Now we know it's safe and clear. Let's uncock the slide and uncock the whole thing together. And uh, let's go over some tools we've got sitting here. Um, you're going to want something to pound on. Uh, you're going to need a, uh, I believe this is a 564 Allen, uh, and a punch and a hammer. Uh, everything else kind of came with the tools you need to do it. So, uh, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, first thing we want to do is right here on top of the rear sight is a allen screw take your allen wrench and unscrew it take the screw completely out if you'd like and then you'll take your block and you'll take your punch and uh, I need to point out this is a dovetail so um, one side is is open bigger than the other so when you go to take this out you need to go to the right okay and then when you go to put it back in you'll put it in going into the left so uh, I'm gonna set it right side facing down we'll go ahead and take our punch and start tapping this out Almost there. A little more. There we go. Broke free. All right, so rear sight is now out. Don't need that anymore. Let's, uh, open up the uh, outer impact package here you'll see it comes with uh, the plate to mount red dots and it comes with a bunch of different screws I guess this would kind of depend on uh, what screw set you need to attach this but uh, for the, the Canik it's the one labeled DVT um, so we'll get rid of these. All right, when you open this up, got a bunch of little parts here. We've got two little pins. I'll show you what to do with those here in a minute. We've got the dovetail end. Um, and the two screws that lock the dovetail in. Um, are these the same size? Yes, they are. So, keep your Allen wrench handy. You're going to need that when you put it in. Um, when you look at this, uh, it, it's not shaped in any specific way so you can slide this in either direction it doesn't matter and you're probably going to want to tap it in Oh, went a little 
bit too far. There we go. Right. And I'm eyeballing it to get it as straight as possible. Right. Now I'll take the screws and drop those in. Oh, I'm sorry. Take your plate and your screw the little pegs here line up with the holes outside the the bigger uh, bigger holes here. Set those in. Now it's okay right now that this has kind of a curve to it. Um, this is going to straighten out as as we we tighten this up. So <laughs> take your screws, drop them in. Take your Allen, start tightening them up. And you could use uh, some blue Loctite on these. Um, that way it makes it uh, less likely to unthread. And uh, make it easier for you to uh, remove it, you know, during cleaning and whatever else. All right. Now we're to these pins. And these pins have kind of an odd shape to them. And... Uh, the smaller end drops into the hole where you need the uh, the sight to align. Um, the sight has little divots here, and that's what it's lining up with to uh, uh, line its line the sight up. So find the holes that you think will. Uh, Hold the sight in place and stick them in. And if you gotta remove them to find them, then that's what you do. Oh, look, there you go. First try. And so now you should also see the holes that uh, you'll be installing the screws at this point. Uh, let's see here. We're going to take the seal kit here, open that up, and you are going to want to find, in this case, it's probably the two smallest screws that hold it in place. So with whatever red dot sight you've got, or reflex sight, or whatever you have, you're going to want to find where your pinholes go you know your pins to, to put and pull it in place and then you'll need to find uh, the screws hopefully uh, your your sight comes with uh, the screws you need to mount it to a plate so I'm gonna try these and again you could um, essentially put blue Loctite on these uh, like I said it's it's not gonna hurt it it's, it's just gonna help it stay in place and uh, you know this this gets aggressively shook while while firing so um, you don't want it to uh, pop off for any reason I unfortunately don't have any blue Loctite and didn't think about it before I made this video so I'm just showing the basics here of what you need to put it on All right, well, that's it. Um, once you've got it on, it's on. So, um, yeah, th that's all there is to it. Uh, you put the, the mounting plate on and mount whatever red dot sight you've got on there. And uh, call it a day. Where's the magazine? 
There we go. All right, so if you have any questions or comments, uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, I'll gladly help you out. It's a pretty simple mod, and, uh, you know, red dots, in my opinion, help with uh, quicker uh, target acquisition and allow you to uh, get off your shots a little quicker. So, thanks again. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. I also offer the online course to get your Texas license to carry a handgun. It's the four-hour class broken down into segments and saves your progress so you can do it at your own pace. After completing the course, you can print your certificate. Then it'll help you locate an instructor close to you, no matter where you are in Texas, so you can complete the shooting portion of the course. This is all certified by the Texas Department of Public Safety. Check it out at reverendguns.com. If you have any questions or comments, please add them below. Be sure to like and subscribe for more firearms education.